I'm, I'm excited to watch them. Just now, you're in the chase. Just go race hard and uh, have fun. And it's, I think it makes a statement how good they were last year and, and carrying it forward this year. Questions now from the floor. If you have one, raise your hand. Jim Pelt. Jim Pelt, the LA Times. It, it seemed like no matter who was behind you, who was pushing you, or who you were trying to block, that you didn't have any trouble sort of maintaining your lead. I mean, was there anybody who gave you a particular problem? Uh, Biffle was rather, uh, you know, competitive, and he was the guy I saw quite often. My teammate uh, Jimmy uh, knows what to do when he gets up there, and he's he's my teammate. So when he uh, is leading the race and I'm running second, it's you know in that particular moment. Uh, my best interest to check both of us. Uh, so that presents a unique challenge. Um, we, you know, we, we just had such a great race car, I'll tell you, and, and you guys know this, this place, uh, you got to have a lot of car. Um, the guy that wins this race um, has to make some smart moves and do some, do some things either by luck or by on a whim uh, or experience or what have you. But the car really does the majority of the work, and just the car has to be excellent and, and, and above par. And, um, you know, so my car tonight, uh, I knew it was something special. I didn't know it was as good as it was tonight, but in practice and a couple, a couple times throughout the weekend, I noticed that it was something unique. And, uh, and when we got the we got the opportunities to sort of work our way into the lead and hold it, and I was able to fight guys off, like you were saying, and able to hold the lead and hold the lead and keep moving from line to line. And I learned a little bit about what I needed to do to really kind of hold the position. Uh, the, the outside line worked 